Hey YouTubers, it's Dansky. So in this video, we're going to learn how to create a tick and a cross icon or a yes and a no icon, depending on how you look at it. Okay, so we're gonna start by selecting our rectangle tool and we're just gonna draw something that looks like this. Okay, and I'll leave that filled with black for now. And then selecting the rotate tool and holding shift so it rotates at a 45 degree increment we're going to rotate it like this. Now keeping the rotate tool still selected, what we're going to do is we're going to left click on this point here and you'll see now, if I zoom in, the cyan crosshair, that's the blue colored crosshair, is now focused on this bottom point. So when I drag with the rotate tool it will rotate around that central point. Now again, we want to hold shift, so it snaps. Ah, but we want to create a copy at the same time. So if we hold shift as we rotate, and we're also going to hold down alt at the same time, alt is what you do when dragging a shape to create a copy. Okay, and then let go. Let's try that again, there we go you'll see that it's rotated around that point at the bottom and also created a copy. And now we can just select this with the normal selection tool and just drag that out like so. Okay, so we've got a tick, nice and easy. So again, using the same principle, holding Shift and Alt, we can just select this big long part of the tick, hold Shift, Alt and drag it out and you'll see it makes a copy. We can now select this line here, go to edit, copy, edit, paste in place, and then go to, we can either go to object, transform and reflect along the vertical axes, or we can select the rotate tool and hold shift and just keep rotating until it's rotated 180 degrees or 90 degrees as the case may be. Yeah, just 90. Okay, so we've got our two shapes now. So if you now press Command Y on the Mac or Control Y on the PC, you'll see that they're still made up of two different parts. So let's just select those and in the Pathfinder palette, just go and click on Unite. Okay, so now we've made this into two complete shapes. But what if you want to have these shapes inside, let's say a circle? Or we can just go up to the ellipse tool, hold shift to draw a circle. We'll fill the circle with red for the time being. And just make sure that we go up to object and arrange and send our circle to the back. We want this to appear behind our tick and our cross. Okay, so I'm going to make this circle a bit bigger. And then holding Alt and Shift, just drag that across like so. Then what I want to do is select this circle and tick on the left and just make sure that's aligned vertically and horizontally. And we can do the same with the one on the right. Okay, and now I can make the tick and the cross white and I'm going to make the shapes behind black. Now for me, the tick is just a little bit higher, even though I've aligned everything vertically and horizontally, because this part of the tick extends quite high, it tricks the eye into looking a little bit off. So I'm just gonna nudge that down ever so slightly using the arrow keys. maybe just a pinch to the left as well. But when you're creating icons and buttons, these details are really important. Okay, so now if I were to draw, let's say a color, and then send this to the back, the tick and the cross still appear white, which is fine if that's what you're going for, but if, what if we want to see through the tick and the cross and so we can see the color behind, so say that was an image, and you, you want to effectively punch out the tick and the cross from the circle. Well, that's easy. We just select the tick, select the circle, and then go up to the Pathfinder palette and click minus front or subtract. Okay. 
And we do the same again, click the cross, click the circle that's around it, and then click Unite. Not Unite, sorry, minus front. Let's try that again. There we go, perfect. So then Command Y on the Mac, Control Y on the PC. If I just get rid of our big red box, you see we can drag these around now and that is effectively the shape. So that's the final shape there. It is a circle with this tick shape and this cross shape cut out of the middle. And we can select both of those and just make sure they're aligned together. So if I, if I offline them a second, offline them, is that even a phrase? If I throw them out of line and just click that, you'll see that it just snaps them both together. And we can even go and apply some color to these if we like. So let's just select this one on the left over here. And let's create a gradient. And rotate this by 90 degrees. Okay, and then just use this reverse gradient button because we want the dark green on the bottom. And then we can do the same for our cross. We'll just have a dark red coming up to a really vibrant, punchy red. And again, we'll rotate 90 degrees. Yeah, just make sure that darker red's on the bottom. Okay, so we've created a tick and a cross icon that we can now use in websites, apps, interfaces, absolutely anything. So I hope that was really helpful. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you next time.